Okay. So, Helena, I want to start off with your time when you were a reporter. I mean, you went to some pretty sensitive areas. You know, you, you were in the Middle East all over, uh, uh, and you were shot at. And there are these beautiful whites coming towards me. Boom. And the, the cameraman throws me on the floor of the balcony. I said, what? What's going on? What's going on? And he said, those are tracers. And tracers are actually bullets that have an inflammatory device that lights them up. Used by machine guns um, a lot. Oh, I said. <laughs> so, you know, we shot what we could. And then eventually the fighting went, uh, died down. And I went to bed in the bathtub. Because if you are in a war zone, there are a couple of things you do. You sleep in bathtubs, number one, if you're, if you're in a hotel. And number two, and this happened in the, in the Gulf War, you, you tape up the windows with masking tape. In your bathtub, you know, the, you've got time for your thoughts to go. How did you keep yourself on track, focused on where, what you were doing? You know, you know what I think it really is? Um, and I've been thinking about this in preparation for this interview, is that within us, and certainly within me at that time, is the source. We all have that, that core within us. And my, you know, where we are connected to a supreme being, where we are connected to the energy, where we are connected to God, to the goddess, to the creator, to the universe. And in that core, I had no fear. Truly had no fear. I did not feel at any time that I was going to die. That this was not my time to die in this bathtub or in this particular, you know, town. So this sense of connection with source, with with the core that that you said within you, is that the first time you experienced that, or had had you learned to connect with that before in some ways? Had you found a way to find that connection before? Yeah, I, I was very fortunate in that I had learned to connect with that in my 20s when I started to meditate. Okay. So that's when you learn, you know, that's the hard, hard work that I did for, I think it was roughly about 30 years before I went into my first war zone. You know, I had that, that basis of meditation which led me to, you know, to uh, connect at those times with, with my core. So, again, I just really want to recap that, you know, the, the, the importance that you have shown in having whatever is your mindfulness practice something there so that when things hit the fan, it lets you build that resilience. So to have that mindfulness, number one, uh, the per sense of purpose uh, the, the you talked about, the job that you aspired to, there was so much meaning in that. Uh, and linked to that, the selfless service, because it was a form of service for you. And then realizing that wherever you are, whatever is happening, it is a choice. You're choosing to have that discipline or not. You're choosing to take this step into whatever is your personal war zone or not. That's that. So those those elements are really uh, incredible pieces to draw from this, Lena. Yeah, and and also always wear your patent leather shoes. 